of that. It's just excess weight we don't need. Oh, we're going this for cucumber. All right, so Moonbaster 2. No solid fuel boosters. Let's see how well this does. I may need to adjust my plan here. If this thing doesn't quite function. Uh, I made an asparagus setup. So hopefully that will function. Uh, it looks solid. It looks solid. I go for 100% thrust. Because I have no idea where we're going with this. Not even a little bit. Oh wow. Okay that's a lot more than I anticipated. Nice. Nice slow start. Full speed. over now. No tipping. No cow tip. It's going relatively well. Almost really slow on the um, first stages, but that's fine. It might be very fuel efficient actually the way it looks right now. I just hope whenever we separate we don't get into trouble. No people. Except for the fact that they just sort of banged into each other. Well, that happened. <laughs> Alright, so this should be okay. Still going up. I'm actually quite proud of this design if it works. If it works. Big if. Let's look at our Apple Apsis, which is already promisingly high. No, I think we're going to be just fine with this. As long as we make orbit with this, I am a very happy man. 50 kilometers up already, and still rising. Very nice. Very nice indeed. 60, 70, well, for 80, I guess. Reasonable. Alright, <clears throat> and then we'll just switch to regular flights. A little bit. Maybe just to make sure we are still speeding up. Not slowing down too much. Take a look. And that's still going up. I want to keep it at about a thousand, so that's nice. It does drop down really quickly when we. Um... Alright, let's turn off. Let's just go for pure stability assist. We have a reaction wheel up top now, which is going to help. And we're in space. Which now means we should go to about one third ahead once we hit the um Yeah. Like that. There we go. That's fine. Oh look at us go. <clears throat> Alright, that went relatively well, I have to say. Engine's gonna cut. Soon. Get rid of that. It's just excess weight we don't need. This rocket has a tendency of tipping up. I don't know why. But it does. But it does. Stick to prograde and go to two thirds ahead, Captain. That should put us in orbit relatively well. And I think we're already at the Apple. Yes, we are. So we should push forward faster. Hopefully this engine will do exactly what we want it to do without killing us. That'd be nice. Let's make sure we stay on the horizon. Okay, 
well. This isn't going as well as I'd hoped. Come on, Jeb. Get your rocket into orbit, buddy. You're already dropping. Go faster. <laughs> this is as fast as she goes, Captain. to get much faster with this. I hope we're going to get into orbits with this stage. It would be bad if we didn't. It would be very bad because we need that the penultimate stage to actually get to the moon. However, we're getting there. We are getting there. We do have that kind of power on this machine. Come on, go faster. Go faster. Come on. You must go faster. Yeah, 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 yeah. We should have switched to two thirds ahead much, much, much sooner. Alright, we're out of fuel on this stage. Go. Okay, now this goes relatively quick. Good. Well, we're, oh, we're in the atmosphere, damn it! Okay, we need to get out of the atmosphere. Now it's gonna be a race. A race into orbit. We're staying in orbit, really. It's not what I wanted, not what I had hoped for. Not even a little bit. Oh man, really? Yeah, okay. That's not good. Not good at all. Oh no. Alright, well, at least we're meeting up with the periapsis at 60 kilometers and going over it again. Not very quickly, but. Alright, let's just um, cruise for a bit. Oh man, that took a lot of fuel. Turn SAS off for that. There's no real reason to uh, to do that uh, the thing. All right, we're backing. Are we backing out of the op atmosphere again? That would be fantastic. No, we're not. We are now, though. All right. Cool. But we have a shit ton of fuel left, so that's sort of nice. It's a very wonky design. All right, let's just um, let's warp here. Man, that could have gone better, but it's sort of the Kerbal way, isn't it? Yeah, this thing completely unreliable. But then you know we only have to make the trip once. Warp there, come on! Yeah, warp already in progress. Well, warp faster. Come on. Slash. Alright, that's better. That's way better. That was the battery situation. Alright, T. Get to your Apple quick. Uh, that's definitely not the orbit we wanted, so I'm gonna go two thirds ahead right here. Get ourselves a circularization as we require it. There we go. Alright, that's better. Now, hopefully, we can still get to our targets. Set as targets. And now we can sort of coast along from the Apo. What we could do is add maneuver, go like this, and then sort of figure out where we meet up with the moon. If anywhere, okay, that's yeah, that might be a bit much. Whoop, whoop! Oh, we had one there. Hold the phone. Yeah, no. That's way too much. That is way too much. Let's see, can we do better? Can we do better? Oh, oh, oh. 
Okay. That's much, way too much thrust there. Let's see. Let me make that happen like somewhere else on a more fuel efficient way. Okay, hold on. Hold on. Mm. That's almost 800 delta V. I don't know if that's what our tank still has. I hope so. If we can lower that a little bit. Nope, we can't. Uh huh. Yeah. It's gonna put us in a wonky orbit. That's not what we want. Not even a little bit. Oh, wow, that's a lot more than I <laughs> hoped for. Um, well, that's a bit less. Uh, that's not the moon encounter we're looking for. This is fiddly. This is fiddly. So ideally, we want something that we... Oh, no. How about something like that? No, that's still wonky. Alright, that might work. Oh man, that's just weird. I'm weirding out here. How about this? That's probably the best we're gonna get. Unless we want to go for a really, really hard break at the moon itself. Okay. I'm gonna say 92 kilometers is one to aim for. So, that's what we're aiming for. I'm gonna save it. Just to be certain that we don't mess this up warp there okay we're there almost it's a one minute three seconds burn so about 30 seconds from now we should start burning and I'm hoping we have the fuel for it I would suspect we do All right <clears throat> we're counting down gentlemen you're going to the moon, whether you like it or not. And hopefully we still have enough Delta V in this tank, but I think so. I think so. We're almost there at the 30 second mark. I'm gonna go full throttle, gentlemen. Full throttle. Towards our targets. Mark. It looks like that fuel is not going to be a problem. This engine though, it's way too weak. I should have put the Reliant on or a similar engine. Right, we're at the node. Still got about 30 seconds left of burn time. Right. 
think that's it. We're done. We're done at a paragraph of 92. Turn off the SAS. How badly? Oh, we still have a quarter fuel left. Woo! All right. This is going well. All right. Now let's do one with one thing. We'll aim retrograde. Two reasons. First, I believe the sun is over there, which means mean we don't have fuel if we get there if we don't. So kind of important. Whew, I'm just glad this design eventually started to work for me. <laughs> I was quite worried it wouldn't. I'm gonna quick save again. <laughs> Oh, oh my. No, 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 no. You need to stay on retro, man. Like so. How's the electricity situation? It's good. Okay. I really wouldn't like it to not be good. Alright, since we saved, it doesn't matter where we go. We'll, we'll just warp here. It's gonna take a while. It's gonna take quite a while. Hours, actually. Yeah. Hours. Alright, where are we? We're still aiming towards the sun with these panels. Yes, we are. Excellent job. And there's the moon. Oof, we will be arriving at the moon shortly, gentlemen. This is a good thing. Bob and Jebediah, they're, they're looking forward to this little trip. So am I, actually. Huh. Alright, let's, let's quick save again. Because once we get over here, we need to start performing. <laughs> uh, warp there. Warp to the parry. And that's the actual periapsis there. I'm gonna... Just, whoa, okay. There we are. Go for this. And warp there, if you will, please. Burning at the actual periapsis will get us most of the punch we need. So, kind of... What if we add a maneuver? Breaking. Oh, wow, that's a bit much. How much is this? Okay, that should be able... We should be able to do that with this engine, I think. But we need to do it... Mm, I don't know. No, we need to do it short. Just a short burn. Before we get to this node. 17 seconds burn. I think we should make it. No problem. Alright. Let's, let's do this. And then 8 seconds up to the node. That's how we're going to do this. So roughly half the burn time. We're gonna burn it for 17 seconds. That should be fine with this engine. No problem. There we go. We are going to the moon, gentlemen. Yes, we are. All right, we're 17 seconds off. Almost at the eight second mark. Three, two, one, mark. I'm here, I'm readying with the ax. <laughs> Seconds. I need to have it perfect. It's perfect now. It's within range. All right, we are orbiting the moon. I think that's a first. It is a first. We actually get some money for that. That's nice. Okay, gents. I think that's, uh, well, we could start our descent plans. I guess what we could do is get to the periapsis and then um, burn retro. And, <clears throat> and find a nice landing spot. Where shall we land? What is a nice landing spot on the moon? Uh, the moon? I guess over in this crater area? That would be cool, wouldn't it? Kind of. I think it would. I think it would. 
I wish I brought landing legs. <laughs> but uh, yeah, we're gonna go into a low orbit of the moon soon. But I guess what we'll do first is do a crew report. So close. To oh, damn. It doesn't give us anything, really. What about EVA? Quick save. Um, Alright, Bob. This is a nice outing for you, I guess. EVA report. That yeah, doesn't do anything. Okay, in that case, get in there. You could remove your helmet, but that would kill you. <coughs> I can't use any of the experiments up here because reasons. Oh god, this is the uh, the actual hatch. It is. We put the uh, the things on the wrong side. Oh. That's sad. That is sad. We're gonna have to figure a way around that. But um, we'll do that on our way back. All right. What I think I'm going to do in this video, this is the last thing we'll do, is get to our ferry. And then start uh, sort of making our apple apses and periapsis um, lower. Lowering things with this engine so that we are really in really low orbit, like 15 kilometers. I think that's, uh, that's a good idea. Oh wow, we did a spacewalk in orbit of the moon. Yeah, that, that gives us some money. Uh, what? No. Yes, warp here. Please. <coughs> Another battery situation. It's good. It's very good. Alright. Excellent. Alright. Let's uh, move to retro for a second. That's moving us out of the sun, so I suspect this will start dropping. And then we'll start uh, we'll start making this a smaller circle. Now one way of doing that is to add a maneuver to do this and then make this the periapsis. 41, no, 18, 18 is fine, we're doing it. Now it's just a two second burn according to this, that's interesting. Alright, so lower orbit, excellent. stage thingy oh yeah yeah this engine is really helping us out i'm glad it's gonna help us out landing as well i mean we could use this to uh drop down and then eventually lose it and then use the the rest of the engines the engine really to uh to help us out so that's kind of nice and we're going to the periapsis next turn off that sas for now warp there and then we will do another break to about 18 kilometers, as said. That is probably our best option here. That crater looks really good for landing. All right, turn this on. Face retrograde. Add maneuver. I'm going to use these maneuvers. Three. Eh. Okay, that's extremely short burn. An extremely short burn. Also, not a very attractive one. Okay, so 20 kilometers up is where we are. And that's where we're going to be for the time being. It's a safe, relatively safe. Um, place to be with this thing and yeah we're gonna have a good time getting down there we can use all that we can expand all the fuel we want there's no problem with that we are going to be able to lift off as well so um, there's no issue once we um, once we need to ditch these we will obviously this big thing is also gonna go but we're going to land on the moon. This is going to work out. I am really, really sure about that. And that's really good. I'm quite enjoying that, that, that idea. Anyway, 
Um, I'm going to leave this episode here. The, the other, the previous one was quite quite long. I hope you enjoyed. Please leave a like and a comment. Please remember to subscribe as well. And um, next time we will be landing on the moon. Cool. See you then. Bye bye.